look back at where you were, where you were a year ago, where you are today, how would you evaluate, how would you grade your progress? Oh man, I'm tremendously progressed, you know, just as, as time go on, you get more film, you get more time to study, and then you just get around vets and people who've been around the game. Uh, just as I spoke before, uh, I talked to Roy, Malcolm, people who's been in the league. You know, obviously Josh been here for a couple years, Smoot, and just people across the D-line who's kind of giving me knowledge every day. And just Zach, Coach Tosh, people who see in the league and just see how things come and just NFL is a copycat league, you know what I'm saying? You're going to see it one game, you're going to see it the next game, you're going to see it the next, like everybody's kind of doing the same thing. So uh, I'm, pr I'm progressing tremendously and I'm taking advantage of it. Our reaction when, uh, when Joe Cullen takes over this defense and you're told you're kind of returning to that position you were playing at LSU, what was your reaction? Listen, <laughs> so I loved it, don't get me wrong, but uh, I feel like just as a pro athlete, you got to make the best of whatever situation you put in. You know, like changes can be made regardless of where you at. You know, like, you know, thank God that I'm in this position now, but it's just something that wherever hand I'm dealt with, I got to make the best out of. How has that adjustment been so far in that new scheme? I know that there are a lot of different things that you guys. How you think it's been? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we balling. Yeah, we on. So we rolling out there. It's fast, man. We come in from all different types of ways and like this defense, it's a, it's a lot of confidence coming in and just, I feel like just what's different about this shit, like we all kind of trusting each other as far as uh, like everybody's kind of trusting that, that I'm gonna do my job. I know Shaq gonna do his job, Josh gonna do his job. So it's kind of, it's getting fun out there. And then, you know, especially when you competing out there and you making plays and you're going against the number one pick who don't look like no more, look like a pro already. So it's like, when you rush and hurry back, get to the quarterback, man, Josh trying to compete, get back there and he throwing dimes. It's like, dang, come on. <laughs> But it's fun though, like, you know, just being in his defense and just being in his atmosphere right now is fun. Were you discouraged at all last year of having to fight through, uh, you know, learning that new position, maybe playing out of position a little bit? Uh, I haven't say I was discouraged, but I'm going to be honest, like, you know, just coming from where I come from, like, just a winning background, like, I won in high school, won in college, and then, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it just wasn't kind of going our way, so it kind of got to me a little bit, but just, as the year, as the time go on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just got to focus on the positive thing. Like, every day I was figuring out just what I can get better in, what I can take in. Like, I'm not going to sit here and just be like, hey, I don't pay attention to media. Like, I see, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've grown. Like, we see every, what everybody talking about. And I know what I need to get better. I know what I got to fix up. And that's just some things I'll be trying to polish up the whole time. You, you missed some voluntary workouts in the, in the OTAs. Were, did that, you feel like that got you behind at all? Or was that a tough decision with a new coaching staff and whatnot? No, nah, I don't think any volatile work as I missed was definitely intentional. Something had to come up with either a family issue or something like that, but nothing put me behind. You got, uh, what did it mean? And also, what was your experience like being invited to Von Miller's pass rushers? So? Man, I've been trying to get to that since my <laughs> freshman year in college, man. It meant the world to me. So, man, been around, of course, Von, DeMarcus Ware, Max Crosby, like all these other players across the league who, who's having success at pass rushing, who's doing the things that I want to do, you know what I'm saying, who's getting the accolades to wherever they are to help their team win. Just learning different pieces, parts in the game, especially as a youngin, you know, at my age, just trying to grasp all that now, the things that took them years to get, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, the DeMarcus Ware thing definitely threw me off, because it's like the stuff he was teaching, I'm like, dang, like I ain't never even think of that. So, it was wild, man. I loved it. And I, every year, like, I'm going to try to go. Like, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I'm probably a beg. I'm like, yo, bring me back. Bring me back. You know what I'm saying? Do you find yourself sitting there and listening, or do you find yourself asking a lot of questions? Oh, it's both. It's both. Like, I recorded, like, everything they was talking, I recorded all that. Like, I, I play it and I listen to it. Because, like, it's my profession. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't nothing to play. This ain't no joke. Like, this is how we feed our family. This is how we win. And I'm a big winner. So, like, Whatever it takes to win, I'm going to do. So if I got to go there and take a 12-hour flight from Florida all the way to Vegas, like, I'm going to do it. Like, that's just gonna, what it's going to have to be, you know, so for the better of, you know what I'm saying, myself and the team. And like, as I recorded that, like, I took everything down from notes, and I just be listening to it and taking notes. And even the time, like, I still got their numbers. Whenever I kind of need help with something, I give them a call or shoot them a text and just kind of see what their opinion is on it. So what's something that DeMarcus told you that you didn't even – comprehend before Ooh, we can't give out the secret like that we can't do that you know that okay like, let's take two more he's got to get into lift guys okay like it's you said good competition and, and, and tackle uh how has cam looked compared to a year ago and uh, juan as well and, and what about walker little uh, they're all looking fantastic i mean i feel like we all kind of see 
Uh, I feel like you guys be at the practice. We kind of see the battles that we all be having every day. Um, it's definitely no one-sided match. I feel like I be having my days. They had their days. and uh, I feel like these are the best players I'm going to go against all year. I mean, somebody you compete against every single day that knows all your moves and every kind of tendency that you have rather than somebody going against just one time throughout the year. It's the best that like I'm ever get. So just going against them, just kind of having a, the advantage and the ability, you know what I'm saying, to go against them every day and practice from all three top tier tackles, it's a blessing. I'll take advantage of it. Hey, you and Walker go back to your Houston days. Tell us about the evolution of Walker. Though. All right, that's my dog, man. <laughs> we be we be chilling. You know, I was we went back high school days. Uh, we was even talking, just trying to go to the same schools of recruiting wise. So. Um, every day when we come out here, I kind of just kind of flash back a little bit when I'm in my stance, like, you know, like how it was back then. And just it kind of bring another competitive edge out of me, just as far as the pride wise, like, you know, like we kind of went against each other back then. Like, I can't lose no more. Like, I can't do this no more. So but it definitely be a battle, man, between me and him. Like, he's a great player. And I try to give him the best I can every day, just knowing that he didn't get a chance to compete last year, you know, with the pandemic. So. Um, just coming into this league, obviously he's going to be going to get some premier pass rushes as well. I want to give him the best I got and just trying to give him as good as a look as possible so when the season come up, there won't be any issues. How has he grown since those high school days? Oh, a lot. I mean, he was the number one recruit in the country. Right? I mean, he's still, he's still the top dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got here, so he's still in that 1%. So, uh, Walker is still amazing, still good. Like I said, I, it's still, it'd be battles between us from run block and pass block. And he puts me on, he teach me every day, and I teach him something. That's what we like.